Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we have a tutorial for this awesome sandstone Arabian style house. I hope that you enjoy the video and that you enjoy the tutorial and it's helpful for you. If so, then leave a like down below, subscribe if you've not already. And with that guys, let's jump straight into it. Alright everyone, the first thing we're going to do as always is fly up and take a look at the dimensions for the build. If you want to take a screenshot of these dimensions, now is your chance to do so. Then we're going to take cut sandstone and regular smooth sandstone and fill in all of the blocks that are the grey and yellow concrete. So on the corner ones we are going to actually use the cut sandstone. So any corner blocks like these ones, just add the cut sandstone like that. And the middle ones in between all of those, just use smooth sandstone and fill it all the way around following these dimensions for the grey and for the yellow concrete blocks. So take your smooth sandstone and at the front of your base here we're going to this is going to be the front entrance underneath of the balcony section so this left hand area come to the corner and this is going to be seven high including this block here so this is going to be one two three four five six and seven do the same on the other side two three four five six and seven join those across at the top then one more on the inside bring that up as well to meet with the top come to the left and do the same so bring that up to meet there on the top of this cut sandstone make it go seven high as well and join those along the top filling in another one on the sides so you have a three by five window and a three by five window on either side continuing around to the left hand side we're going to come to this wall here and bring this block here up by six to meet that so one two three four five six just like that these two blocks are going to be two cut sandstone then the middle one comes up to meet that as well two more cut sandstone and then on the corner bring it all up and the in between sections we're going to actually use some sandstone walls and that fills in both of those round to the back that pattern continues we're going to use two cut sandstone right there smooth sandstone two cut sandstone smooth two cut and smooth again each one of the smooth pillars, bring those up to meet with the same height as we have before. Then on the in-between sections, bring the sandstone walls up to meet with those at the top. Just like that. To the left of that, you should be left with five blocks wide now. And you want to take your smooth sandstone again, bring those up to meet with the same height as we already have. Bring it across and down to meet with the corner block. I want to fill in most of this with smooth sandstone but finally leaving the three blocks in the middle and doing a stair upside down stair and a regular stair of smooth sandstone to create a little bit of a design continuing to move round left we have another section right here you guessed it bring the corner up to meet with the top bring that across bring it up by another block bring it in the two corners with an upside down stair and you should be left with a three by three and that's going to act as a window on this side of the build Finally moving round, we have made it to the underside of the balcony area and this is where the front entrance is going to be. So leave a three block gap right here and bring this one up all the way to meet with the others. Join them across at the top. Bring it up by one more block. This time use some smooth sandstone stairs across here and across there as the entrance. Place a nice smooth sandstone block behind that one. Place a block, a row of smooth sandstone blocks across the top with upside down sandstone stairs creating a nice little archway entrance. Moving to the left of that, we want to bring this block all the way up to meet with the top. Leave a two block gap and then the two blocks here, once again, bring those all the way up. Join them across once and then twice and you should have a four block high, two block wide gap. Then in front of those, once again, bring your blocks up to meet with the top on the two sides. Join them across at the top with two regular stairs right there. And that's going to act as a window as well on the front side of our build. Then the last wall here to the left, bring the blocks up to the side of this. And two blocks in at the other side. Join them across at the top. Then we want to have a 4x4, four four, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 1, 2, 3, 4. So place another row of blocks, giving you our final window right there like that. Okay, so coming back to the front on this left hand section where we started to come up to the very top i'm actually going to place another block on top of this bringing it all the way around and then what we want to do is line it up with this one right here and bring it all the way across creating a square like so then just fill that in with your smooth sandstone 
Then take that extra one block layer and bring it on top of where the walls and things are. Bring that all the way around on top of all these sections of wall. When you get to here, we want to extend that out past the build and above where our pillar is right there. And then this should connect up with the second block in on this left hand side. Then use a smooth sandstone stair on this leftover block right side up. Bring it out by one, turn and then bring it all the way across. Out by one again, all the way across this roof section. Out by one and turn it right there. Then come underneath with a smooth sandstone slab and another two sections here on the end. Place it underneath of the stairs, on the front and on the side. Then move up once again and we're going to use our cut sandstone again right on the corner block like that with the smooth sandstone stairs beside it. Then a cut sandstone, stairs, cut sandstone, smooth stairs and cut sandstone again. This pattern repeats all the way around, alternating between the stairs and the cut sandstone. Finally filling in this entire square that's left over with some smooth sandstone blocks. Now we're going to work on the first of the roof sections for this left hand side. So coming up to the very top, take our smooth sandstone once again and place a row along the three middle blocks. Three along the left, three along the back and three along the right, just like that. Then place a smooth sandstone slab at the top half of this middle block on all four sides. Then bring your smooth sandstone block on top and bring it out by one. So we have it three wide again. Then place a temporary block with another block on top, on the corners. These should all be two blocks high. With another smooth sandstone slab on the top of this middle block. Then on the inside, place a smooth sandstone block behind this slab, bring it three across again. With a smooth sandstone slab on top of those. A smooth sandstone block behind each one of the slabs. With a slab on the bottom half of those on the corners. Then in the very middle, three smooth sandstone blocks. With stairs on each one of those going round. And that is the main shape of the first one of the roof section. We'll add in all the details later on at the end. But let's move on to the pillar sections. For the pillars on top of each one of these blue concrete blocks, we're going to add in two cut sandstone, two sandstone walls with a cut sandstone on top. So that's two, two, and then one, two, two, and then one, and finally one more time. Then place a smooth sandstone block on top of each one of those. And we want to have stairs coming from each side upside down. Then a smooth sandstone block coming across the entire section here of wall. Then on top of these upside down stairs that are exposed to the front, we're going to place in a sandstone wall on top. Then an upside down smooth sandstone stair coming from each one of the sides of these walls. Excluding this corner section, leave that one plain. Then we want to do a smooth sandstone slab on top of the stair and joining it across and this is actually going to continue all the way along skipping out the corner and bring it all the way along this side as well you can continue these slabs all the way to the end of this wall on this side and do the same with an upside down stair here leave a block gap an upside down stair there with a wall behind it then we're going to do three smooth sandstone blocks with another wall at that side a smooth sandstone underneath of that with a regular side stair three walls and an upside down smooth sandstone stair facing inwards at the bottom. Connect those up with upside down stairs like that. Upside down stairs coming off of these sandstone walls with a regular stair in the middle. Then another smooth sandstone block on the inside of these. With a smooth sandstone slab on the top half of these two blocks at the sides. And the bottom half of the block at the top. And that's the detailing done for this window right here. Come back to the front and hello little rabbit trying to break into my 
unfinished house, but come back to the front and place upside down smooth sandstone stairs on the two sides beside this window at the front. Bring four sandstone walls up the sides with a smooth sandstone stair facing inwards on both sides, like so. A slab on the back of those and then slabs coming along the top, creating this window shape. Repeat that again on this left side, so upside down stairs, four walls, stairs on those, slabs behind the top of the block and then slabs coming across. Then as we move our way around we want to make the base of this stick out a little bit more with upside down stairs, two regular stairs, upside down, two regular, upside down again, upside down, two stairs and repeat that pattern. Then for this wall here we want to repeat what we've got on this side. So we want to have our stairs facing inwards on the two sides like that and like that. Upside down stairs connecting those across. We want to have three walls going up, three walls going up. Upside down stairs coming for the side of those with a regular stair in the middle. Regular stairs on top of the walls with full blocks coming all the way across. A wall on top of the two edges. With a slab coming across the top of those, and this slab's actually going to just all extend all the way to the end of this wall. Two blocks along the middle sections here, smooth sandstone slabs, and you can break that one away and replace it with an upside down stair right like that. Now we're going to work on the second roof section back in this corner right here. So above this window, in line with your pillars or your wall sections, we're going to actually place a regular smooth sandstone block on top on on the corner come round and in line with this one right there then you come on the inside and place three temporary blocks with the fourth one staying as is to create this square shape place a cut sandstone block on top of each one of those smooth sandstone blocks with a wall on top of those then take smooth sandstone stairs on top of these walls and bring them across and then turn turn again and finally meet those up Place a temporary block and pull blocks on the edges in the middle of the block with slabs on the bottom sections, creating this shape right here. Then fill in this little gap, bring a block up and then out by two on each one of the sides like so and one in the corner. A smooth sandstone slab on the top half of each one of these blocks in the corners. Then smooth sandstone block across by three all the way around with a slab on the middle blocks place three blocks across behind of these slabs place stairs on the middle fill the gap with a block and place another block on top of that and that's going to be that roof section done until we add in the extra detail at the top and then finally one of the last sandstone details we're going to add is we're going to take some smooth sandstone stairs once again come in and on top of these blocks right here we're going to add in a regular stair upside down stair regular upside down and regular and upside down repeating and this is going to come all the way across of this wall so you have this nice little design with a circle in the middle and a dip at the top in between here again just do the same upside down stairs up regular facing stairs like so and once again on this back wall do the exact same thing all the way around until you meet up with the main tower section like so and you should have this nice design going around and if you've got forgotten these slabs like I have place in the slabs going across joining up with the bottom of the stairs on the back side of the build once you have that all in place you may notice we have a giant hole in the top of our base so you want to take some smooth sandstone slabs and in line with the top half of this block right here we're just going to add in a large platform and this is going to cover the entire thing leaving out this gap here as this is going to be the way up and down so you just want to line it up the block in front of that just like so and just like so Get that roof in place now come to the underside of our balcony and a little bit of tidy up needs to be done so we can copy on top of the pillars here exactly what we've done at the front just using the walls and the upside down stairs until we fill out this section right here all right the roof is tidied up as you see i followed the pattern as we've done on the outside then i've added this lip of slabs around here on the edge of our roof i've added in a little extra layer of blocks across here with upside down stairs on either side to match with what we have on the pillar right there and on either side of the doorway so we're going to take some upside down stairs 
sandstone wall and a sandstone slab right there and do the same on the other side that frames in that entrance nicely come to this window here and do smooth sandstone stairs upside down in front of it and then this one can just have sandstone walls going all the way up the top to frame in that window and that is going to be this section of the interior for the sandstone all complete we're almost finished with the sandstone now but we're going to have to do the interior work for the sandstone to bring this shape a little bit more to life so come to the top of the stairs and bring full blocks across these three and then one more again right there then come down place a row of stairs and a row of stairs on the ground floor for easy access up and down you can replace this entire sand floor if it's sand you're building on top of and you can just build sandstone once you've done that turn around and on top of the staircase place a stair on the left hand side and two more stairs on top of those with a full block turn and place another stair stair and then break this block away and place a stair for access two sandstone balls here three across this side back underneath now and on this one here i'm going to break these away and actually replace with upside down stairs any of these strange areas where we have blocks missing just replace with a slab underneath the stairs here i want to fill with full blocks fill that in with a full block and bring two slabs across to make it look a little bit more structural turn around once more and behind of the stairs we have at the top here bring the slabs down so we have two full blocks like that then we can have an upside down stair and another upside down stair there bring those across then come to the other side and this is going to be the height of the roof in this area so just bring full blocks across all the way until it meets up with the other wall or the other side and do this for the entire part of the roof going into the other room as well at the back we went at the bottom of the stairs and this hallway turn and then on the third block in so that's one two three we're going to build up a row of blocks of sandstone blocks coming around and all the way down two more there and upside down stairs either side to make a little archway and that gets us from one room to the other so all of the sandstone areas should be completed now and we're going to move on to adding in another colour and another texture and the first thing we're going to do is come to this front window to the left, break away the three sandstone blocks right there and replace them with jungle planks underneath. Then do some upside down jungle stairs on top of those with some jungle planks behind those ones. Then place two jungle planks either side coming up with stairs on top of those facing to the side joining in the middle. Upside down stairs above those the same way. Then we have upside down stairs at the top in this section right here again. Jungle trap doors up the sides. Both sides that is. And finally a jungle trap doors in the middle to create a little window section. Then we're going to repeat this whole entire design on the window to the left here again. So we're just going to do this quickly with stairs upside down on top of the jungle planks. Jungle planks behind two up stairs either side facing in and one in the middle upside down ones above that upside down ones above and out and then jungle trap doors up the two left and right side like so and jungle trap doors in the center section to create a little window as we continue to move around to the left we're going to get to the section with the walls here and just on the tops we're going to add a jungle button and on the bottoms to act as little bits of wood holding this together little wooden pegs and we're going to repeat that on both of the sides the back and the side right there then coming to this window here it is blocked off but we want to add in some jungle trap doors to the left and the right side the same goes for this window here up against the walls and these stairs some jungle trap doors again then come to the inside and this large window right here we want to go behind of these sandstone stairs break away the sandstone blocks place these planks going all the way up and then place upside down stairs at the top trap doors in front of each one of the jungle planks and then jungle buttons running along the top like so turning our attention to this window now we're going to just add a jungle stair upside down to the either side and then some more jungle trap doors just like that for the door we're just going to add in jungle trap doors on the sides 
and then some jungle buttons, three along the top, like that. Then for each one of these pillars, we're going to add in a button at the tops, like so. And on the second one up, looking like the pegs are holding in this pillar, we want to do that on each one of the pillars, all the way around. Pillars complete, we want to bring our buttons up to this top section and on these cut sandstone blocks, add a jungle button all the way around to there. Then come round to this one and again jungle buttons on each one of these cut sandstones in the four corners. For the two roof sections we're going to come to the very top and place a red sandstone wall, an acacia fence and a lightning rod. Red sandstone wall, acacia fence, lightning rod and that adds a nice bit of detail and colour to the very top of this build. Now we move on to some of the final details, we're going to add in a nice terracotta floor to make it a little bit more grand in this area. So we want to break away a six blocks along from the bottom of this stair here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And do that all the way until we get to the pillars. You should have this space now. We're going to use some brown glazed terracotta. And coming in on in line with this pillar here, we want to face the stair, place a block. We want to turn, face the block, turn, face the block again, and turn once more. And we get this pattern. So to repeat that, we want to place the block on this corner here, where we face the stair, then turn, turn again, and turn once more. This one is a little bit different as we've only got two blocks left, so we actually want to come in and face this way, turn, and place it right there again, and the pattern then continues. So we want to do that again, block there, and turn as you go. Once again. And finally, the end one. One more time. These can be tricky to place, but once you get the hang of it, you work out not too bad. So once you've got the nice fancy floor in place, we're going to add in some acacia stairs as a seating area. So we're going to place an acacia stair facing that way underneath of this pillow. One more facing out. Turn and place another one as a little bench. Then in the corner, we're going to place two acacia underneath of this window. One turned in the corner again like so. Next up, we're going to add a trim around this fancy floor here using some brown carpet. But there's no place to really hang any decent lighting, so we're going to add it underneath the carpet in the form of torches. So break away the block here and place a torch. This one, place a torch. This one, place a torch. This one, torch. And the middle one's there for torches. Then we're going to add in a brown carpet and brown carpets on top of these torches. And that's going to provide some hidden lighting. This one we're going to leave as we're going to add a composter in this area. But there we go, that's the carpet now in place and it trims and fills out that nicely, making the transition from the sand to our nice terracotta floor. Right guys, with that, the main structure of the build is now complete. So the next step would be to design and come up with an interior. Um, this build is split into multiple sections. We have exterior of the build with things like flowers, plant pots, everything like that. We have the interior where we want to have a living space and we have the rooftop terrace where we can put pretty much anything that we want up there. So I've actually went ahead and built all of that and we're going to actually take a walk through and see what there is. Rather than me placing each individual small little flower pot we can just take a look at everything as a whole so we can land down we have seen the exterior here with the floor but you may notice i have added in some of these composters with a mixture of the flowering azalea leaves and the regular azalea leaves we fly around we see an assortment coming here and there sometimes we have just the leaves on the outside without the actual composter at the bottom so as we make our way underneath we see the glazed terracotta floor that we placed in and to decorate out the area we are adding in some flower pots on the floor and on these little window ledges mixing in some of the azalea bushes and some other flowers we have the composter right here with azalea leaves the light that we placed underneath here actually passes through composters so we do get the benefit of that torch as we walk up the stairs, we are entering the main building. We have a brown carpet on the floor. Coming down the stairs, we are continuing with that brown carpet, adding in some of these armor stands and some more of these flower pot things. We have a little table with an anvil and just decorations, lighting hanging from the ceiling using the amethyst crystals and more flowering pots. We come into the main study or living area and there is nowhere to sleep in this base, but this could be a pull-out bed or something. We have a little library section with some bookshelves. 
a shelf up the top and more flowers and life going on in here. As we make our way up the stairs, we have a balcony with some jungle trapdoors. Making our way all the way up to the roof terrace, we are greeted at first with a clothesline with some clothes and rags or sheets or something hanging over these lines. They're just using some fences, some fence gates and some flower pots on top. Then over here we have some seating and dining area. We have some spruce fences, fence gates with pressure plates on top, acacia stairs and we are using a little trick with green beds going around in a circle with some green wool and a spruce button on top as a little canopy to keep us away from the sun. Moving on over to this area again adding in some of these flowering pots with the composters all over the place. On these ledges we do have flower pots with all sorts of cactus, bamboo, things like that. Adding in some lanterns here and there as well. But we also have a little barbecue or fire pit area with some more seating using some birch stairs. And one of the best features of this rooftop is our jacuzzi. So if we take a look underneath, we have actually placed in some campfires in the little space that we have between the ceiling of the living area to the roof here. On top of those campfires we have some soul sand which creates the bubbles and the smoke. Then we have some water placed in with some spruce turtles going around. Finally over here we have a little drinks and food bench or table. A little trick we can do with the item frame. We place the item frame down. We can use glow berries or red berries here and it just looks like different assortments of fruit. Then using this dead horn coral fan we can place that on the trap door and it looks like a little basket of fruit sitting there with some drinks in the form of sea pickles. And there we go guys the build is complete and all I've done here at the end is to break up the similarities between the build and on the ground we have surrounded it in some grass and coarse dirt, a ring of leaves and azalea leaves around with some sandstone breaking that up in the middle. I've planted some acacia trees around adding in a little bit more foliage with grass and leaves and things like that added in some cactus a little path out the front and it settles it in nicely to the terrain if you enjoyed the build and if you liked the video be sure to go down leave a like and subscribe for more content like this thank you very much for watching and until the next one bye bye